You stay there. I want to talk to you. I still don't see your sister. Are, are you sure you saw her with Ethan? Of course I am. I know my sister. I just can't imagine why she would be here with my nephew. Neither can I. Maybe you can tell us. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? I know you all be pleased to hear that tonight's performance raised over one million dollars for the various Crane Foundation Damn. charities. We'd like to extend our thanks. And special thanks goes to Miss Stanley Everett Morgan. I think Everett that Morgan bump on your head that I gave you was causing you to hallucinate. Your tonight. sister is not here with Ethan. I saw her just here. Once again, thank you for coming tonight. And enjoy the party. Oh, Lord, I'm dead by you. Then it was nice of you. Lisa, calm down. I'll get you out of this. Let's try this one. Well, you saw him this time, right? I'm sorry, I didn't. Well, I did. There they are. Come on. Okay, Crane, I got you now. I beg your pardon? Oh, sorry. I thought you were someone else. Okay, officer, I think it's time I take you home. You are not a well man, and you're making a fool of yourself. I'm not leaving until I find my sister. Why can't you just admit that you're wrong? Your sister is not here with Ethan, or with anyone else for that matter. No, she's hiding. They saw me. Why would they be hiding from you? Because I've already warned Teresa to stay away from Ethan. Now she knows she's gonna be in big trouble now. Oh, that's right. I forgot about your neurotic dislike of anyone named Crane. Look, call it what you like. I mean, you may think that your nephew Ethan is a peachy guy. I think he's a spoiled, rotten, rich kid who thinks he can get whatever he wants, whenever he wants. Oh, what? Just like me? You said it, I didn't. Well, Ethan is certainly not breaking any laws tonight. And besides, why would he be here with Teresa? If he was going to be here with anyone, it would be with Gwen Hotchkiss, the girl he's going to marry. Hotchkiss. Yeah, I almost arrested her once, too. Why am I not surprised? At least, doesn't it make more sense that Ethan would be here with Gwen since they are a couple? And the way you have it figured out, they're a perfect couple. Why? Well, I don't even know her. Gwen's rich. Ethan's rich. So according to you, it's as it should be. The rich marrying the rich. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm happy for them. But I know what I saw. And it wasn't Gwen and Ethan, it was Teresa. And if Ethan is going to marry Gwen, like you say, what's he doing with my sister? Trying to use her for some action? Hey, Ethan is not like that. Sure he is. It's a well-known fact that the crane men like to tomcat around with the underclasses of harmony. Tomcat around? What's that supposed to mean? Forget it. No, I will not forget it. I want to know what you meant by that, and I want to know now. 